So it's like, you know, I was raised in the 1980s as well. I mean, on Bon Jovi, you know, Slippery When Wet and Glam Rock and Hard Rock and stuff. And Iron Maid and ACDC and things like that. And of course, Madonna a bit. I, I, I didn't listen to Madonna properly until the 90s, but I heard some of the pop music in excess and uh, on the radio and a little bit of John Farnham in the 80s as well and all, all sort of cold chisel and all sorts of rock and roll on, on 80s radio and video hits and things. And Bruce Springsteen, Pat Benatar, all sorts of people. And everyone under the sun, U2, Blondie, you name it. And um, sort of because I was on sort of a lot of hard rock in, in the late eighties, a lot of heavy metal and stuff, wearing heavy metal t shirts and things, I sort of I'd look back a bit and look at sort of sort of there they are in the nineteen fifties rock and roll like the old rock and roll. And the the women in their dresses down to just past the skirts and things and those dresses which go out of the side at that down at an angle a bit, sort of coloured dresses and and roll music any old time you I like that old time rock and roll and sort of look at that sort of stuff and go oh yeah quaint if you know what I mean it's like not, not quite not quite don't, don't mind it it's lovely but uh, it doesn't really have that zing is, is what I'm sort of thinking and now of course I look at um Stuff like, I like the way that you kiss me, which is okay by Artemis. Uh, current stuff from Sharp, but the imagery is just sort of, the song's okay, but the imagery is like crude. And these people, are, what, what they think is cool is crude. But back, back then, Ron, Ronnie, Ronald Reagan had long hair blow her brows. The oldies back then had criticisms of our generation. Not really right. And now we have criticisms of the alphas and the, the, the millennials and the the Zeds and the alphas. You know, this, yeah. Generation to generation gets a bit weirder, a bit more diverse, I suppose. And the values change a bit and get a bit more, I suppose, liberal, accepting of all sorts of diversity and different ideas and sort of all over the shop sort of ways of doing things. More freaky, I suppose. Uh, this is apparently in Judaism, they call it Hutzpah or something like that. So there's a lot more Hutzpah from generation to generation, a lot, lot, lot cheekier, a lot cruder, a lot ruder from generation to generation. Issue generation's tolerance factor um, is, is a lot more by the looks of the, the kind of crap they think is okay crap to sort of accept and stuff. Tastes change from generation to generation. It's a lot, a lot more diverse and a lot, lot cruder quite often. And so much so that, you know, after a century, they look back at your generation and think they're quite conservative people. They were saints back then, the good old days. Well, they were good old hard days, but they were the good old days when people had standards. Because Generation X, surprisingly enough, does actually have standards. It's not as good as for those a century ago. But we know we've got better than the crap alphas can be finished. Low-grade dog shit. 